In this video we're going to look at how to install a post processor to Bobcat version 21. So first I have my Internet Explorer here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Bobcat website to download a post processor. So what we'll want to do is type up here into the address bar, not into the search engine or a search engine, bobcadsupport.com. When you get to this website, you'll see here that there's a link that says Post Processors. If you click on this, the posts are shorted for version 18 through 21, then for version 22 and 23. But we'll go ahead and click on version 18 through 21. Now, since we're going to load a post to version 21, all of these posts will work. You'll see that they're shorted alphabetically, and you can click on the letter to get to the link. Let's say we want to find a Fanook. We'll click on F, and that brings us down to F. Then we can see here's our Fanook. And then inside of this folder are all the different Fanook models. Let's go ahead and hit back. Now, if you're using Bob Wire, you'll see here that there's a W, and you can click on Wire, and then all of the Wire posts are listed under Wire. Let's go ahead and go back, and let's go ahead and install a Fanook post. So, I'm going to click on F for Fanook, or you could just scroll down. We'll click on Fanook, and we'll see all of our different models listed. Let's go ahead and install Fanook 5M. We'll see here is Fanook 5M.exe. I'm going to click on this link, and then choose Save. This will allow me to save the file to my computer. You might want to save it to your documents or your desktop. But you'll never want to save any downloaded files inside of your program folder, like where Bobcat's located. We'll choose Save to the Desktop. And after the files complete saving, we could either run it right from here, or we could close. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and close out the internet. And here we'll see is our Fnook 5M.exe file. Next to install this, all we have to do is double click the file, and we'll choose Run. Then it'll prompt us which version of Bobcat to install to. In this case, I'm installing to version 21. I'll choose Next, read the following information, then choose to install, then Finish. Now, now that I've done this, the post has been installed to version 21. We'll go ahead and launch Bobcat version 21. Now we could see here when we go to Insert NC, here's my Fnook 5M post. We can now select this from the NC machine setup list. Choose OK. And there's my post processor installed and set up for the Fnook 5M. We're going to go ahead and look at one of the common problems that happens when you go to install a post as well. Under File then Environment are some settings for the post install. There's Script Folder and NC Config Folder. Sometimes these files might end up changed. So if they point to the wrong directory, what will happen when we go to install the post it should fail on us. I'm going to go ahead and make those changes, close Bobcad. And we'll go ahead and create the little problem right here. See how it says failure while trying to install and it says which file? So if you get a failure to install in a post processor, what you'll want to do is launch your Bobcad software. Now this really goes for only version 21 and prior. Then come to File, then Environment. And make sure your script folder points to the Bobcat cam directory and then scripts and you'll want to make sure your NC config folder is pointed to NC config under the Bobcat cam directory and once you've set those the post should install with no problem so that's how to install the post and one of the most common problems that can also happen while installing a post and that will conclude this video